It is the final push to the polls in the Denver runoff election. Mayoral candidates Kelly Broff and Mike Johnson spent this last day campaigning. This election is so important. I do believe our city's at a crossroads where we either continue on the path we're on or we turn and we house and shelter those who are most vulnerable. This is a decision that's going to drive the next generation of where this city goes. And I think we need a leader who both has a big vision for what's possible, has a sense of optimism and hope, and can really bring people together to take on these tough problems. Broff is a former Chamber of Commerce president and was chief of staff to former Mayor John Hickenlooper. Johnston, a former teacher, high school principal, and state senator. And according to Denver Elections Division, 24% of ballots have already been returned. That's more than 107,000 votes. Some of those are still being processed. About 76% of ballots that were sent out have not been returned. The city clerk's office says that's about 6% higher than turnout at this time during the April election. And if you plan on voting in person tomorrow, here's what your ballot will look like. In addition to the race for mayor, there are four city council seats showing, although one of those is already spoken for. Uh, one of the candidates running for District 7 dropped out of the race. And both candidates for mayor of Denver have pledged to support more city contracts going to local companies. Denver 7's Jessica Porter shares what this could mean for local businesses. This could give more local companies an edge when competing for city contracts. And ultimately, the goal is to keep the dollars the city of Denver spends within our local economy. The pledge was created by One Main Street Colorado, an advocacy group whose mission is to expand the middle class. They say both Kelly Bruff and Mike Johnston signed a pledge to enact best value contracting the first 100 days in office. Instead of choosing the lowest bidder on city contracts, best value contracts looks at a company's safety record, quality of work, and if they hire local workers. Uh, rather than fussing, uh, hiring out-of-state companies who bus people in from out-of-state, pay them a low wage, and then bus them back to their state where they, they'll spend their paycheck uh, outside Colorado, Best Value Contracting uh, ensures that we're, we're hiring a local workforce who are going to get paid fair wages and uh, going to spend their paycheck here in our local economy. One Main Street Colorado says this system will not only help local small businesses, but provide a living wage so workers can afford to live here. Best value contracting is already being used in cities like Seattle and Adams County. In the studio, Jessica Porter, Denver 7.